A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video and making these creative projects possible, but more on that later. Today, I wanna to make a couple simple improvements to our shipping container house to make it a space that makes creative projects easier because we've been working on our new collection of meditations and it's been such a fun, rewarding process that I wanna make sure the next step in that process, which is creating all of the visual images to go along with the program, is also really fun and easy. And Dana and Max are actually gone right now. They're at a play date. So I have the entire property to myself, which makes it way quicker and easier to build stuff. So I'm actually gonna head over to the bedroom now. So the first thing I want to install is a couple of these like storage net things. I don't really know what they're called, but they're basically like nets that get screwed into the wall because Dana really wants a spot to put her notebook in bed where she doesn't lose it. And then I got her these cool pens that have like a light in the front of the pen. I remember my dad, I think uses these in movie theaters to take notes. So I'm hoping this will be a really good system for her so she can write in her journal in the middle of the night if she gets an idea and not wake Max and also not wake me on the floor. When you build something, you always wanna see if it's Max proof. <laughs> this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna pull hard on this and it seems to hold. This kit came with two extra screws. I feel like every single thing should always come with a couple extra screws in case you drop them. That should be like a requirement of products. All right, there we go. We got two for Max and two for Dana. These things actually worked so well. I think I'm gonna get a couple bigger ones so we can put the books in them. And maybe Dana wants a couple more as well. They seem really, really well made. So let's do a quick little test. Thanks, Max. Yeah, bring the firewood in. Yeah, I can hold this and then you can balance. There you go. The little one, you got it. The little one, yeah. There we go. You got it, Max. Big ones. Here's the big one you got. Mm-hmm. Wow, did Dad clean this room up? You really did. Oh my gosh! Max, you gotta go up into our bed! <laughs> We got pockets! Oh, we got so many pockets! <laughs> this is exciting stuff. Max, we have a present from Dada. Sit down, let's take your boots off. You ready for the surprise? Okay, keep going. All the way up, and Dada got something new for us. Do you see? There's pockets! Wait, these are amazing! Pockets, Max! Here's an honest assessment of how the office looks before I start on this project. Obviously, we have some work to do. So the next step in my creative renovation project is to get this office sorted. Specifically, we have no electric lights in here right now. So I got this cool LED light strip that apparently will work for our top-down camera setup. It has like diffused LED lighting because what I wanna do is light the table so we can film top-down stuff like we used to. I had a bunch of like large globe lights up there a while back, but they just like really made this room feel pretty claustrophobic, so I removed them. They just took up like way too much space for such a small little corner of the room. So I'm hoping that this works better. We'll see. So I'm gonna install that now, and then we can test out our top-down table. All right, lights are in. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with. Whoa. <laughs> it's 
not as like seamless as I would have liked, but the lighting itself for filming is amazing. There's almost no shadow. It's like pretty incredible considering it's only mounted on one wall. I think if you had them over there, over there, and also on the ceiling and slightly from behind, you would have zero shadows, but look at how good that looks. So I realized yesterday I installed this light by accident. <laughs> I was trying to install this one and I guess I just opened this one. So this is the light I got from Home Depot and it works totally fine for filming. There's no flicker. Um, it's not like diffused. This light has like kind of like a soft light setting. So I'm not really sure what to do. The adhesive you can only use once. So it's like, if I remove this light, then I'm not gonna be able to use it again, which is kind of a waste. So I think I'm just gonna leave it, potentially install this light, and I have one more of these. So we can just like really light up this area and it's kind of nice. Oops, light number two. Wow, really light it up in here. It's not the most elegant. I feel like these types of lights are supposed to be like hidden like I did in the kitchen, but it kind of works for the office, honestly. I feel like it'd be really satisfying if that line at least continued that direction, but we don't really need it that direction. It's really just for filming in here on this table and it's working really well. There's almost no shadow. All right, so the next step is to get a power cord to this new printer we bought. I don't know if this is a good printer or not, but the reviews were really, really good. It's for high quality photographs. This is the printer we had. Sadly, it's not good for photographs, but hopefully it can at least do its other job of being a scanner and printing like normal Word docs. But the photos that it prints, I don't know if you can see this, are just so blurry. It's like, why? I don't know if we just got a defective one or, yeah. But anyways, we're gonna get the power cord into here, through the hole, drill a hole into that box, which is on wheels, and then see if we can fire up that printer and test it out. So I think I'm actually gonna grab the saw and just cut a little piece out of here so that this can go a little bit further back because we didn't really account for that. And we built the box. See the printer's like out a little bit. All right, so I got lights in under the workbench. This way, if you don't want so much lighting, you can just remove the top two And that's actually way nicer, I feel like, for working at night, because you have the computer screen anyways. And then you have a little bit of light from the fire.
So I have a couple more things on my list I'd like to get done, but I kind of want to try out the top down table now real quick and see how it works with the new lights. Potentially fix Max's little tractor. He got this from our friends Eli and Sam's son Vigo and the batteries are dead, I think. I don't really know what type of battery it takes, but it could be fun to give him a little surprise when he pushes the button and there's actually a sound that comes out. So let's see if we can get that fixed real quick. Oh no, little batteries. Oh, what type of batteries are you? What are the chances? that we have these batteries in this office. I'm gonna say 5%. I think these ones are just a teeny bit too big. Gonna have to go to the hardware store. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Max, press the button. Maybe he fixed it. <laughs> there we go. Replaced all the old photos with new photos. They look so much better. These are all our thumbnails. I like to print them out and test them to see how they look. This is a print from the new printer, and this is what the old printer looked like. Look at like Dana's face. There's like no detail. And then look at that. That and that. So much better. <laughs> it's crazy. Like how? There's a little bit of a snowstorm outside. Mostly just wind, not very much snow. But the office is done. And it feels so good for it to be done. This is like really, really incredible and satisfying. We got new, better quality photos on the wall. Everything has been cleaned. I finally got rid 100%, 95% of all of the dust from overspray, from spray painting those um, pieces of steel white in here, which is a very big mistake. I got our collage table all set up. I got new lighting in. The top down setup is working. The microphone is ready to go to record our next collection of meditations. I even got this vent installed finally, which sucks air out of the ceiling to solve the shipping container condensation problem which is very real. I noticed when I installed the pipe for the wood burning stove that there was a little bit of water in the ceiling. And since installing this, I checked and there's no water. So I think between this and the wood burning stove, it's really gonna dry things out in here. I also organized every single one of these drawers. Hello. <sighs> wow. Lou has done such an incredible job organizing the office and just like really putting in the effort to tweak these spaces to make them the most functional and easy to use. And I think that for me, like when things are simple and easy and organized, that just makes a space for creativity to flow because it's like you don't have to walk in and be like distracted by mess or distracted trying to find what you're looking for. It's just like, okay, here the supplies, here's a clean slate. It's like the feeling of like, I don't know, opening a new journal and there's just like a blank page ready to like pour your soul onto. That's what it feels like this office is just, oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. And I'm so grateful that Lou took the time to get it sorted because 
Yeah, when you're living in tiny spaces, I think it's nice to iterate and not feel like once it's sorted the first time, it's done. Because once you live in a space and once you your goals change or once your projects switch. Okay, Brian. A little love. I just had quesadilla, so she probably is like smelling all of that all over. Um yeah, he just did such a great place or a great job with the space and I'm so excited to use it today. My plan is to do something that I haven't done in so long. And it's just so funny because the other day I was thinking about our meditations and I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? Like it used to bring me so much joy. Collaging. When we were living in the van a long time ago, I used to have this art journal, this travel journal, and it was such a fun experience for me to get to like reflect on our travels in the van as they were happening and make these travel spreads. I don't know if Lou has any of like the old footage of the travel journal experience, but it was really special. And who knows, maybe some of you actually watched those videos or found us through those videos. They were like a kind of like a niche little experience. And I was like, I would really love the cover art for each of the meditation collections to be a collage because it's just such a fun way to express myself and I think it kind of goes so perfectly with meditation because you're kind of like going into this other space, this like subconscious realm and allowing your imagination to totally expand and flow into this, you know, visualization. And so I was like, collage is perfect for that. And when I told Lou, not only did he like just get this whole place set up for me, which is just, he is so amazing. Just to like, oh, I like kind of want to get into like doing dream journal. Oh, here you go. Here's a spot for your journal when you wake up. Here's a pen that you can write in with red light. Oh, you want a collage? Like, I am so supported and I know how lucky I am. I am so grateful for this man. He is just the best. But on top of that, he was like, oh, our, one of our neighbors, told me a few months ago that he has all these old magazines that he's cleaning out his garage and he'd love to give them to a, a home that would appreciate them. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, how cool is this? So, you know about Mother Earth. I did not know about this magazine, but it is old and it is incredible. Like, the pictures I have to work with and not only the pictures, but like the content. Like, this literally just opened to a page to working line dogs. We have a working line German Shepherd, but Lou has been dreaming of getting a dog just like this. And I just open it up and here it is. Um, so I'm really excited to pour through these magazines and not only like get amazing images for the, um, for the collages, but also just learn a lot. So that's my plan for today is that I want to start dabbling in collage. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make anything final or if I'm just gonna kind of like explore how I feel about it again, because it's been a minute since I've done any of this, but Lou's got me an X-Acto knife. Oh, and on top of that, like last time I was collaging, I was literally collaging on a fold out table outside in the wind. The little pieces that I would cut out would fly away. I'd be like chasing them down to get to work in a space like this. I mean, come on, I've got lights. I've got a huge space to work on. I've got X-Acto knife. I've got everything I need, literally everything I need to make this such a special, beautiful experience. Well, Lou really got this place sorted. And it's just been such a joy, honestly. I've been in such a creative headspace ever since we got back from Colorado. It's a little windy. I thought we could just chat with our home behind us because I think that's what's been so special about building these containers is just to create a space. Ooh. I was like, can I get further away? Oh, I gotta hold it with my arm. It's just to create a space that's just makes making things so easy. And that's really what Lou's built. And it's just so nice because with my energy right now, it's just at a whole new level. It's so amazing to just feel like, Every day I'm just getting more and more ideas and a lot of them honestly are coming through as our next meditation collection, Unwind. Oh my gosh, these meditations are so powerful. I can feel like I can talk about them this way like and be so jazzed on them because it honestly doesn't even really feel like I'm writing them. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's like I have just been asking, please send me ideas. Like please give me meditations that can 
support this transition from daytime to nighttime? All these different things I've been asking and asking. And you know what? They've just been coming. I've just been like putting Max down for naps. And the ideas are pouring in so much so that I have, I don't know, probably over 50 voice memos right now on my phone. I had to get like an app that I can transcribe these voice memos because I'm just sometimes coming out of a nap and just sitting down with a voice memo, close my eyes and record for 30 minutes straight, a whole meditation. Like without, I don't know, it's like I'm not writing them. I don't know how to explain it. Has anyone else felt like this? Where your creative project is just like pouring through you and you don't have to do it? Cause it's amazing and it's so, <laughs> so easy. I'm like, well, if this is how to make things. I can get behind this. Oh, it is windy, but that sun is out and it feels like spring is coming. We did have snow yesterday or two days ago, but spring feels like it's on its way and that is so exciting. And I feel like this like rebirth energy in myself, in our home. Yeah, life up here is just getting easier easier and easier and easier and I think it's like just being in a really good headspace and also I feel like Lou and I are in such a good balance right now of figuring out how to navigate life up here so it's just been really fun and I'm really grateful that Lou cares about creativity so much and is so good at building systems because it makes life really beautiful so this video is your inspiration to Take a little time to get organized because having your stuff, having your colored pencils where you want them, having your collage set up, your journal, when everything has a home, the ideas can just pour right in and it's amazing. Your girl is back in action. Our online store is powered by Squarespace and I just want to take a second to thank them for sponsoring this week's video. When we launched our first collection of meditations, I built us a super simple product page, but today I was feeling inspired to zhuzh it up a little bit. I wanted to make a more eye-catching and informative landing page for Seasons of Change that not only gives you more information, but also is fun to look at. I really love the Squarespace templates because they are a great launching point to build from, so you don't have to start from scratch unless you want to. No need to get intimidated by coding, you can just drag and drop your photos and text and get your business off the ground quickly. If you'd like to start your own online store or website, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And if you've tried Seasons of Change, we would so love to hear from you either in the comment section below or an email or an Insta DM. It's just really fun to hear um, how the meditations are affecting your life. So I hope you're having a wonderful week and we will talk to you soon. Bye.